Our kiosk point of sale solution delivers fast, reliable service to your clients with simple and effective operation for your staff. Using words and pictures for on-screen product buttons provides intuitive operation. Sharing a single printer per outlet for occasional receipts and end-of-day reports reduces the initial setup costs. Each kiosk screen is freely configurable, but typically has the sale window with last item sold, name, price and running total, the number pad for operator sign-on and payment values, fast tender keys for swift cash tendering, several function keys required during operations, multiple product buttons with words and pictures. These facilitate fast sales. A small area for lists of function buttons to appear when used. This also provides an area for your brand image. Operating the till is very intuitive. All operations are look and press. Product images on the till buttons allow easy visual identification and fast selling. Each operator has a unique sign-on number. To sign on, the operator enters the number and presses the clerk button. Sign-on is confirmed with their name displayed and the wording Start Sale displayed above the number pad. Operators are normally signed on to the till for the session. To sell a product, the appropriate product button is pressed. The sale window will then display the product sale line, name, price each, quantity and line value. The running total will be increased. The last item sold and price is shown at the top of the sale window. Pressing further product buttons makes further sales to the same client. If more than one of the same item is to be sold, pressing the appropriate quantity on the number pad and then the product button will sell the required amount. To complete a sale, the subtotal key is pressed first. This shows to the operator and to the client using the customer facing display how much is to be paid. Should the client provide tender greater than the value of the sale, the fast tender keys should be used to complete the sale. Pressing one of these keys will complete the sale, open the cash drawer and calculate the change. A large end of sale window is displayed to the operator for clarity. Pressing OK on this window dismisses it. The last sale is displayed on the screen should the client require a receipt. Should the client require a receipt, the receipt button is pressed. It is normal to have one printer per kiosk. The receipt will be issued from this printer. Operator mistakes are easily corrected. There are three methods of correction. To correct the entire last sale line, the void last button is pressed. A red entry will follow the line that shows the correction. Void list allows the operator to correct mistakes within the sale without having to void the entire sale and start again. Pressing the void list button begins the operation. Use the arrow keys next to the sale window to move to the offending sale line. Next, enter the quantity that you wish to remove. You cannot enter more than is there. Finally, to commit the void, press the void list button once again. A red entry will appear at the bottom of the sale, indicating the void. Pressing the void sale button will request confirmation of the void. The transaction is then voided. A void chitty will be printed. This chitty should be retained for end of day reconciliation. Meal deals and promotions provide automatic discounting at the point of sale. Operators no longer need to manually provide appropriate discounts, further speeding up till operation. Products are sold freely at the till. As a meal deal trigger happens, the discount is automatically applied together with the meal deal name. End of day has been designed to be simple and quick for supervisors. The reports at each till allow for till reconciliation, 
product family reporting, and product line reporting as required. Tills within a kiosk can be consolidated using one of the tills. Mm -hmm.